Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out a new drive and actually it is a new manufacturer that I have never worked with uh, before and that manufacturer is called Delta and uh, one of the drives that we will be checking out today is a VFD-E model drive which is uh, pretty, much, uh, pretty much the same as VFD-EL drive it's just E version, it's got quite a bit more functionality in it than a... Uh, EL one, so uh, so yeah, that's the only difference. So uh, we're going to be doing again three videos. Uh, we'll be checking out uh, how to uh, commission it, uh, factory reset, and uh, do the local run and set up all the, all the parameters. Uh, second video, we're going to be checking out two, three wire control, and also be using the uh, remote potentiometer. And the third video, as usual, we're going to be checking out how to set up the drive to uh, drive frequency to control with the MOP control, which is a two button up down control, and also set up the drive in MOT frequency setup. That's the pretty much the schedule for uh, next uh, three videos. So uh, all the manuals, any other related videos and everything like that, I would think that benefits you in any possible way. Do check out in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are, so all wired in, so as typical as usual, we are going to go through all the uh, wiring points as well. So the power comes from here, right in the top, uh, Single, I use a single phase, so uh, I've got a live and a neutral in there. There's two versions of this, the one is called E and one is called EL. EL version comes with uh, a integrated control, uh, integrated panel, pretty much identical to this one. And E1 e, 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 e comes with a unit that it comes off. And the difference between them is just the E version's got quite a lot more uh, functionality in it than the EL version. So so pretty much the setup is all the same. It's just it's just like this this version's got PLC and all sorts of uh, shebangs in it uh, that you can uh, play with. Uh, but we probably, maybe, maybe we'll cover it in uh, future videos, uh, the PLC functionality and things like that. We will see. So uh, first thing, uh, again, we continue with, uh, you've got a, a, a I like that when manufacturer put the earth uh, terminals uh, next to a uh, line neutral or whatever you're using so it's, it's just a normal screw terminal and also you can put the motor terminal motor uh, earth down here if you wish to and if you also go, we've got three phases that is going to our motor uh, so uh, that's, these are the units for the outputs uh, to the motor so uh, the next we have a look at these uh, uh, terminals in here, it's got the three blocks in here, one in here, this one in here, this is for your external cards, you can add a cards to it if you wish to. That's again for much more advanced uh, uh, setups, uh, that uh, they, again we're not going to be looking into that one. So first the one thing is uh, down to me, I just don't like, it. They, they put all the right and right in the bottom. I don't know why they do that because there's plenty of room on the top. I don't know why, did you, why can't you just put it on top so everybody can see what it is. So now you literally have to bend down and have a look at it. But anyway, stop complaining. So uh, it's got a uh, six inputs, and then it's got the DCM, DCM. Those are going to be used for uh, NPN, uh, NPN controls. Let me quickly show you. Uh, if you uh, there is a sort of a, it gives you a diagram, so it tells you uh, how uh, what terminals you need to use for each setup. So do check out that in a manual if you wish to see what is what. By default, it is on NPN. So uh, we are going to be using this, what's it called again? Uh, DCM uh, output to control our inputs. And from there on, he's got the bank for analog inputs uh, and also and this bank in here, that will be for your uh, analog outputs and other outputs. And then yeah, this is going to be your relay output as well. And that one down here is RJ45 for communications with uh, your uh, with a PC or any other. Uh, things you wish to do. So uh, next one is these two switches in here. This is I already said uh, MP, by default uh, the um, switch uh, bottom switch in here, which is uh, you select between APMP and NPM. So we're going to be staying uh, as default, not to complicate the system uh, for our uh, demonstrations. And obviously in here, this, this switch up here, that will determine as you can see determine what sort of a uh, uh, potentiometer or what sort of a frequency control you will have, which will be volts or current so we're going to be using a volt so we're gonna for our potentiometer we are going to be a flipping uh, that upwards so that's uh, where we are going through with uh, how uh, the terminals work so next up we'll have a look at it how the, uh, the 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 control panel works the control panel at the very beginning is quite is a little bit confusing depending who's looking at it so uh, it's 
it's got the run and stop signal and this is there and then it goes up and down a signal in there and then you get a nice potentiometer for a local run but this mode mode one in here is a bit like mm, what is that so uh, it's basically all it does is it's 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 a readout so you can have a look at a monitor for mainly used for a monitoring so uh, that's it was that but if you want to enter uh, the uh, menu just get back to the normal screen you just click enter and in there you can see it goes the first a number that pop, pops up it's the groups and he's got a how many groups has got he's got 13 a group starting from zero all the way to 13 so and it's sort of segregated I, I like that it's quite nice it's, it's segregated into the groups and then you could quickly jump to the group you need to pretty much uh, uh, have a look which parameters you need to work with. So uh, that's pretty much that. And once you are identify a group you are gonna do it, just click enter and it is gonna show up the subgroup. And from there on, you can go and select whatever the parameter you are after. We're gonna be looking through uh, most of them. Uh, no, most, nowhere near the most of them. We'll be looking at all the, need, the ones we need to commission the drive today and get the guy drive going in a uh, local mode. So the next up, let's edit motor parameters. But before we do that, let's reset the drive. And to do that, we need to go to uh, a, a parameter group zero, and we need to go to a uh, parameter zero zero dot zero two, which is called parameter resets. And in there, you enter, uh, press enter. And there's a couple of selections you can do, and uh, do check it out. But that's just quickly going to go for the one we need, and that is going to be a uh, nine, nine and a ten. Nine will determine uh, will reset parameters to fifty hertz and 10 will reset parameters to 60 hertz. So whichever country you are in, that's pretty much it. When we are in UK, we are gonna be nine. And as it does that, and depending on a parameter uh, 12, by default, it stands to 230 volts. So uh, it's pretty much, it does most of the work for me. So by entering that, it does that, and it resets all the, all the parameters back to factory default. And that's pretty much how uh, we uh, reset uh, the drive to factory uh, reset. And when I say factory reset, I mean factory defaults. So uh, the next thing we need to do is is, is sort of uh, edit the motor parameters. And there's not, not that much because by default, everything's already there. Uh, when you select your uh, P, uh, I mean the parameter 00.0.12. And uh, by default, everything is almost there, uh, more of it is there. The only thing you need to know is the current. But before we, uh, because we are going to be performing auto tune, we sort of need to put the drive into a uh, local run. Uh, so the command source comes from a uh, actual keyboard, a keypad. So for that, we sort of need to make sure that we put 0201. So we'll do that one. 0201 we need to make because by default that is at a uh, external so we need to make that on a digital keypad so we'll change that to zero so we can pretty much activate the actual uh, um, as you can see by clicking the mode it just uh, reverts back to the groups so we can be able to activate a run signal when we want to the auto tune so uh, in there in the for auto tune we only need only thing it needs is we need to give him because the parameter 1101 uh, uh, one and 102 are already set in there by default in that are correct exactly to what my motor does the only thing we're going to tell him uh, what current of the motor it is so and that is going to be in here and my one is, is on one amp which already edited in there so from there on and that one just go to a parameter 7.04 enter that one and in there you have a option how you want to a uh, auto uh, auto tune your drive one is uh, stationary one is uh, rotating if your motor is free like mine do the uh, ro rotational and if your motor is not free uh, do your auto tuning uh, uh, selected to one i'm going to be doing to two because my motor can uh, rotate so uh, let's enter that one and once you've done that one just click uh, uh, run signal and it will do his business so measuring whatever he's trying to measure and you also be able to a uh, uh, determine those which one the 701 uh, under this auto tune so and all it's going to do is going to ramp up ramp down measure what it needs to do and your motor is pretty much done so if all went well so just enter and that should revert back to zero and that's done 
So your motor, I mean your drive, is pretty much ready to go and to be run from a uh, local run. And the only thing left to do is uh, pretty much to uh, run uh, the drive because by default the actually the source, the frequency source, that's the one we take by default it is actually external and that's the one we need to change that to, uh, there's a couple of ways to control it so we need to change that to 4 or a 0. So uh, let me just uh, change, uh, enter that one, we're going to go down to 2. Enter, enter. So at the moment, by default, it stands at a, a one, which is a zero to ten volts. So uh, what we're going to do in here is you can, you can. Let's see what happens if you put down a zero. And uh, let's leave. What we? So now we can we can adjust the speed with these buttons in here. Okay, so that's pretty much that. As you can see, my acceleration, the acceleration is just uh, really 10 seconds. So, uh, I don't like that. We've got nice potentiometer there. And that one, all you need to do is a select option 4. And it will uh, run your drive from a... Oh, let's get back to F. So now, when you click the run, as you can see, nothing happens. And that one doesn't work, but you can see it wants to work from... A nice potentiometer, a little uh, from actual potentiometer from the, from the keeper. That is pretty much that's all we really want to do to get this thing well, uh, in a local run. Guys, if you are using it this way, do make sure you're using some form of uh, eSTOP functionality like a cell where I can uh, smack the eSTOP and disconnect the output. Or there is an option which I'm going to show you in the next video where you can use it in a sort of a uh, uh, force the drive to disconnect the output uh, with uh, uh, sending an external fault from uh, within a, from uh, some form of station. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this will do for commissioning and checking this drive out. It's a good drive, it's packed with everything what we uh, what uh, pretty much everyone would need. And remember, this is that, that more advanced version. So the, obviously the EVA, EL version is less advanced, So, but nevertheless, it's pretty much all there. Sounds good. This kind of frequency by default it has uh, eight. It is good. I like that. And uh, and there's a lot more in it. So I'll, I'll try to cover uh, as much as I, I can. So uh, I don't know. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like the video, smash the like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Any questions? I'll answer them soon as as soon as I can, and of course as accurate as I can. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.